What's going on? Back plugged in again with your boy the Prophet. And today we're gonna be reviewing the God. Thousand Year Toshiro, my favorite character in the whole series. Give me a like, a share, and a sub if you're new. But without further ado, drop my shit. I'm going all in, I'm going all in, I'm going all in. I got nothing to lose. Yeah, nothing to lose. Yeah. I'm going all in, I'm going all in, I'm going all in, I'm going all in. I'm going all in. Nothing to lose but still making the profit. Back plugged in again. So I'm super pumped to be uh, putting this video out to you guys today, man. Um, I actually did go ahead and decide to do Biaki before Toshiro, um, but that was for other reasons, anyways. But um, I'm super pumped about this, man. Uh, we got the perfect ray for my boy. Um, I'm gonna be go ahead and uh, gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got here, 30, 30, 30 on everything. Um, so that gets him 110% SP. Um, right here, we basically it's not full uh, strong attack damage. Um, I'm giving up 7% strong attack damage for 10% uh, cooldown. So um, that's just gonna help him clear things faster, anyways. So. Um, yeah man so we're gonna go ahead and, and proceed here and uh yeah i think this uh this will obviously it's gonna be the first or second best build today um his strong attacks are literally made to clear through waves of enemies but they have to hit hard enough to um to do the damage to uh you know take them out in waves as far as uh, dealing damage with the frenzy hits so um so that's why strong attack damage is good because you can clear two waves with one strong attack uh if you time them right so um you know that's one difference between recharge and strong attack damage um because with a character like this whose range is absolutely phenomenal um you know you are going to run into that issue so um yeah man i'm gonna go ahead i actually I probably should have used the super in this room for real. This is the um, the room with the most enemies for real, for real. But um, it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it here. Even though that room isn't as bad. That's really one strong attack for real, for real. Now nah, I think about it. So so we lost a couple seconds there. We maybe could have been under a minute so far. I just love this super man. It's crazy because he doesn't do, obviously freezes everything and like collapses and crushes the ice, but like, damn, yo, them damage numbers are ridiculous. Yeah, we could have been uh, under a minute had I dropped that super in the right place, but I would say nine out of ten, the ten out of ten build, um, nine and a half for sure. Yeah, nine and a half to ten out of ten. Nah, I, I would go ahead and say ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. That's destruction at its finest. Um, and then there, all I did was I switched out two of the strong attack uh, damage reduction or strong attack. Um, yeah, strong attack damage increase, and I put cooldown reduction. So right now we have, um, and I still have the Biaki. So we have um, forty-six percent. Uh, cooldown and 18% strong attack damage, which I think is absolutely perfect for him. This is probably the best build, um, really, just with that Biaki in there. Um, you know, that 18% strong attack damage for giving up 2% cooldown, um, that really is a huge difference. Um, you know, there you're already frenzy plus, so just gives you an extra multiplier. So we're going to go ahead and use our super in the right spot here. Oh good lord, that that just see it just devastated everybody. And that's why I'm thinking uh that the um um the weekend drops like as the first like basically the second you get hit by that year weekend. So you're getting frozen and weakened at the same time. Confirm one hit. One hit confirmed. Good God, the devastation, man, with that super. Yo, this is such a phenomenal character. Um, 
I'm so, so happy to have him, man. I have the absolute best accessories. Um, I can throw an attention tie with 30% attack or 30% SP. Um, if I want to mix them up and do like a hybrid or something like that. Um, actually, what you guys are seeing right here is the gold a chappy a build. So double chappy and um, uh, double five star chappy 30 30 and then 30 percent on the yuki. So the full 176 attack is the highest that you can possibly fathom in the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed, and this is where him not having that 20 percent bruiser um really does hurt because right here we're getting almost six thousand well if you would have had at least a 20 percent bruiser this would be up to about eight thousand up to about seven and a half thousand um which would be a huge difference uh rather than just having more range um and aoe for his normal attack damage so that is literally the one only complaint that i have about this man um but yeah and uh I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do the 110 attack uh, build while keeping the uh, SP intact. Um, so the purple Yuki and, um, you know, something else with 30%. I do have a 30% tension tie, but um, I don't think I leveled it up. So I'm not going to do that in the middle of the video. But um, I'll just go ahead and throw something else with 30% attack on that uh, doesn't really give me any other attributes. So um as you see well we just got hit there but we were up to about seven and a half k but you got to think about it this is with k and attribute advantage so um you know even double chappied um standardly he's going to be getting about 3.5 k um which is pretty which is pretty sad man it's pretty sad um but you know the thing is he's still very viable because of how strong and how fat or how fast his nad string is um in the radius of it and the fact that he can freeze you for seven seconds i mean just with normal attack so um and frenzy does still i mean and if you wanted to chop him um he would still you'd still take all those double hits um giving you extra chances to freeze um, that was actually a, a minute and 30 seconds. That's one of the longer ones so far. Um, so here it is, the 110% attack build. And um, I kept everything the same. I kept full nad on him just to see. Um, just to see, like, if the strong attacks can still one shot. You know, will this be a good build? Because maybe he can uh, one shot with strong attacks and, you know, still inflict a, a much higher damage than normal with his normal attack. So we're getting about. 4400 per normal attack which is not bad at all um obviously for this build you know like i said if he had a 20 percent bruiser he'd be up to about five and a half k maybe um around that area because all the multipliers the multiplying stack with each other so um long reach is not a multiplier that stacks with anything so um you know it is what it is but that's my only complaint but he's still like literally the i think i still think he's the best um power character for pve um no other character has like your weechi her special is ass ichigo his special is good um and uh he does have a nice ass nad boost like a nice ass bruiser um but he has no status ailments he don't have freezing weekend or deliberator um and he don't have the range or with the strong attacks or normal attacks so um definitely this is the best uh power character you want to go with for pve man hands down um i would still go with noitor and pvp um but if you don't have noitor or if you can build him perfectly look at that just frozen just just chilling yeah about 6k there and that's not with attribute advantage that's just with uh that's only attribute advantage so still pretty good there so yeah that's 124 so um i'm actually i got to i gotta do this for you guys i gotta show you guys some pvp footage of the new toshiro um yeah so uh, we're gonna be getting into it i'm gonna show you guys the build at the end um but i do have 110 percent attack and um i have um dr on everyone so nothing else but dr as far as their uh soul link and um we're ready to rock and roll man uh 
this Biakia yeah, I actually haven't taken a loss since I've had this team. So, um, yeah, man. So, we'll see. All right. I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and, and get this queued up here. Uh, 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 I'm, like, super hyped, man. I'm going to wait to the end of the month to pull for Sajin. Um, beyond that, I'm super happy with this banner. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's see if Biak can drop that second. Yep, there you go. He dropped it. Uh, let's see who has theirs. No one. So, so the hits got eight up. But as you see, we're still living. Senk. Ten mon zakura kagus. Fucking barrage of a thousand plus swords. Like, shit's OD as hell, man. But uh, yeah, so as you see, um, uh, I'm going to try and pick some uh, some green guys so I can have Toshiro lead if I see that. But uh, I don't mind leading with Byakuya. Um, nope, not even, not even about to do that. Um, yeah, I'm trying to move up to captain rank if I can. Looks like we'll have somebody here. Uh, Alright, I'm going to take on this Koga. That's pretty fucking risky, y'all. Just so you know. I don't know how Toshiro would do against the Koga. Koga is right now the toughest green in PvP to go against. So, um, if we can have some good results against Koga, then that'll be huge. That'll be huge. Okay. Not to mention, he has more DR than any green character. Okay, so he just weakened me. And we're still living. Then he fucking burned me. Goodness. Step in the arena. I step in the arena. Boom. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Yo, you, if you're going to run this, um, any SP character in PvP, you've got to have a, um, a captain's robe, unfinished Hogyoku, uh, and Raku, etc. And I hate fucking Raruka, but I'm going to go ahead and pick her. Just because if she gets the soul bomb, it's over. Like, it's over on the floor. That's uh that's worse than Toshiro getting the soul bomb. Just as bad I should say. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead, let me see what we got here. For some reason Toshiro just going on normal attacks. He's not even Okay. We'll just skip that, yeah. Um and I was actually just weakened just now, or she would have fried. Both of them would have just got annihilated. So um that was actually interesting to see his super without a chappy on it. I mean with the um uh, you know, what, shit, what was I about to say, oh, yeah, what, it looked like, right, all right, yeah, it looked like I had a champion on it, because my, basically, was hit for zero to one damage, so, um, but that weekend was still very, very clutch, and the freeze is still clutch as well, so, um, yep, look, full bring Ichigo is down, instant death, um, hit him with two strong attacks, and he folded like a taco. Like a lawn chair. Fuck out of here. Yeah, man. I know that they could have made Biyaki more powerful. They could have made Toshir more powerful by motherfucking giving him Bruiser. That would have been easy as fuck. It wouldn't, he wouldn't be more broken for having a 20% Bruiser. But, like, Kenny, they're talking about make him, like, a different type of broken. Like, I mean, not Kenny. Biak, they're talking about give him frenzy or give him blurry or completely change his mechanics and things like that. Um, wow, fucking Biak, he died, you guys. Um, so, all right, freeze, yeah, freeze his ass. But get your ass whooped up on, boy. Get your ass out of here, man. Get your ass whooped up on, cuz. And we'll fuck, we out of here. Fucking, we out of here, man. So, um, uh, here's what we have on the boys 30 30 30 with the chappy uh, Captain's robe and the pupples so perfect for him and then uh, 30 30 30 SP little DR my Mashira will be max tomorrow uh, Then Kenny he also has the same 30 30 30 captain's robe Yuki pupples or captain's robe pupples chappy and uh 
that's it man i definitely appreciate you guys let me know what you think about the review please give me a like and a sub if you're new to the channel and without further ado profit nation i love y'all but i'm out this mother <laughs>